Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to set up breakout rooms for your learners. So the first thing you want to do is you need to go to the main Zoom web page, sign in. And once you're um, in your account, you need to go to settings, choose in meeting advanced, and make sure the breakout rooms have been activated. So you need to turn them on. When it's blue, it means it's on. Once this is done, then when you go to your Zoom class, you will see here a new button. The breakout room button has been created now. If I click on it, it asks me to assign my participants, as you see here, I have four students into, and now I need to choose here how many rooms I want to send my participants to. So I'm going to send them into two rooms, two participants per room, and here I can choose whether I want to send them automatically or manually. If I choose manually and then press create breakout rooms, then I need to start assigning. So here, say breakout room, assign, and I choose student number one, student number three. So breakout room, assign, student number two, and student number four. Before I open the breakout rooms, it is important here to click on options, and now choose whether I want to move all participants into breakout rooms automatically, if I want to allow them to be able to return to the main session at any time, which I always like doing, especially when I'm teaching adult learners. Here, breakout rooms close automatically after, so it is here important if you want to set a timer, uh, so I have an activity that I want um, to last for, say, four minutes, and get a notification when the time is up. And here, the countdown after closing breakout room, what you're doing here is you choose how many seconds you want your learners to have from the moment the breakout rooms close to um, the moment they are brought back to the main room. So after four minutes, they will get a pop-up message saying, time is up, you need to go back to the main room now, and they have to choose yes go if they don't choose yes after 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 10 seconds depending on what you choose they will be automatically redirected back uh, here so what i'm going to do now that i'm happy with my settings and the way i've assigned um, my learners i can rename the rooms if i want and i can say group a instead of breakout room one and maybe group B instead of breakout room two. I will click on open all rooms. And you see here, that the learners are being redirected to um, breakout rooms. So I have my two learners in group A and my other two learners in group B. As you see here, this pop-up window tells me also how uh, much time is left, which I can also see here. This I don't necessarily need to have. I can close this window and if I want to open it back, I can click on breakout rooms and I see the same window here. Where I am now, I'm in the main room as you see, I'm on my own because all the learners are in the breakout rooms. So um, if I want to join a particular breakout room, I simply click on join and I move from one breakout room to the other. If I want, I can broadcast a message to all. So I can say here, uh, don't forget to, and here I can add the objective of the, of the task, don't forget to, um, choose the best description depending on I don't know whatever your task is or I can say you have about two more minutes left 
And if I broadcast, then everybody will see this message. A pop-up window will appear in the breakout rooms, and I will be, uh, they will be able to read my message. Now, if I want to monitor what's happening, I simply click here on Join. Do you want to join Group A? Yes. And as you see, I am now being redirected to the breakout room. So here is the room with student one and student three. They can use the chat, they can share a screen, they can use their cameras, they can be talking to one another. Um, if I'm happy with what they're doing, I can click breakout rooms again. It shows me here that I'm in group A. I see because I can see myself, my name here. And if I want to join breakout, uh, sorry, group B, breakout room two, I just simply click on join and I will visit the other breakout room now to see what is that the other pair is doing. So here are the other two um, students. I can see the list of participants that are present in this room. If I want to leave everyone alone, I will click leave from group B. And now I'm returning to main session, to the main room where I can wait. There is one more minute so I can click again on breakout rooms and broadcast the message to all and say one more minute left. And this is now sent to all my learners in both uh, group A and group B. And um, they will shortly after 40 seconds here, they will receive a message that says, do you want to join? Your time is up. Do you want to join the main room now? And they need to click on yes. If they don't click on yes, then they will have to wait for 15 seconds and the system will automatically um, send them back in the main room where I am at the moment. I also have an opportunity when I join the, the groups, if I see that they have, they're done with an activity earlier, I can click here close all rooms and they will close and the learners will be redirected in uh, to the main room. So now, as you see, the time was up. I received this message here. Time is up for the four minute breakout room. Do you want to close the breakout rooms now? Yes, close them now. And I get a notification that says all participants have been given 15 seconds to leave their breakout rooms. So what happens is now they see a countdown that says you need to return to the main session and they have the choice to either say leave now or wait to be automatically redirected, which is what's happening now. The students are one after the other being redirected into the main room. Three students have already been. Now the fourth student is here as well. And that's how um, breakout rooms work on Zoom.